Yo, what is on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all a full carbon fiber flat bottom steering wheel that all of you BMW E9X owners can install in your car. So yeah, we're gonna be upgrading my current steering wheel to this carbon fiber one and I'm really hyped to show you guys. Let's go ahead and install this thing. So as you guys saw in the other video that I put out, link for that up above, I have this Alicantara steering wheel installed right now. It has the red directional stripe. It has the Alicantara at the bottom and tops, the M Sport leather trim piece. But honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Alcantara. I just don't like how this feels. It wears out and starts looking kind of a uh, pleathery. Just really not a huge fan. This carbon fiber one looks absolutely menacing and beautiful. It has the red directional stripe ingrained in the carbon so it can never wear out. It has the fully carbon fiber trim piece here in the center with the little M Sport badge on there. Overall, I just love the way it looks. You can see that the bolsters here are extremely thick and grooved, way thicker than the ones I have on right now. And I'll flip it around. This thing is absolutely perfect, guys. It still has the little grooves here on the top. And so, yeah, I'm really hyped to install this thing, guys. Let's go ahead and remove my current steering wheel and throw this thing on. Now, I already have a full removal video of the steering wheel, so I'm not gonna go crazy in detail in this video just because I have one or two videos already showing y'all how to remove the steering wheel. So first things first, we're in the rear of the car. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the negative terminal right here. Bah. Now I like to use a microfiber towel and just kind of pull it up. And now we're gonna keep that terminal wrapped up in the microfiber so it doesn't touch anything and shock. And the reason we did that so we can pop off the airbag safely without this thing firing off on me. Cool, so five minutes has passed. All you're really gonna need is a flathead screwdriver. Now if we come around to the back of the steering wheel, we'll actually see there's gonna be an insert hole right here and there's a clip right in here. And what you're gonna do is put this flathead screwdriver sideways, catch that clip and push inwards just like this. And so now I put y'all in the passenger seat just so you can see from a better angle what you're gonna do. Picture my hand as a flathead. We have it just like that. We're pushing inwards, trying to find that little clip. And now we can see the airbag will start to come out just like that. Now we're gonna go to the backside. Just make sure you put your fingers under here to make sure this doesn't fall back in while you're removing the clip on this side. So keep your fingers here and then we're gonna work the other side. Sweet, so now we got the backside and I'm just showing you the angle of the screwdriver just to see if that helps y'all at all. Now you're gonna see these green and black clips on the back, and these are actually gonna be what supplies power to the airbag. So now the important part is you get a flathead, wedge this flathead right in here, and this little black tab will lift up. Once it lifts up from both sides, the locking mechanism is now out, and you can go ahead and remove one clip. Wedge it right here on this black side. Be sure to hold the connector in place, wedge it, take out the locking tab, and then you can go ahead and remove this thing. And now our airbag successfully removed with no electrical power connected. And now something we can do beforehand before we remove this is just go ahead and remove these little electrical connectors here. So you'll put a flathead in just like that. And while you have it pressed in, that'll come out. Just make sure you hold this in place while you remove this one. It is a 16 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead, get our 16 millimeter in here with a breaker bar or something on the end of it. Hold the steering wheel as tightly as you can. I like to put it between my knees and my hand, just like this, and break that torque. You're gonna hand back this thing out, and anytime you remove an aluminum fastener, you want to replace it, so I highly recommend it. That's up to you if you wanna spend the money to do it, but I recommend you do. And now, voila, wiggle it out of place, and our old steering wheel is out. And I probably will be sailing this thing online link down below where you can get it still in pretty good shape i'll probably give it a very thorough cleaning on the alcantara portions but yeah if not i'll keep it as a backup and i really love the way this full carbon one looks a lot better i mean wow look at that shine it's crazy i mean what do y'all like better the old one or the new steering wheel let me know down below i want to hear y'all's thoughts and the new wheels is going to slide over just like this you'll have to feel around for the sweet spot there is a directional strip inside of there that's going to align the wheel and now just go ahead and push this thing into place. So now that the middle screw point is aligned and then our wires are aligned here. Honestly, we can just go ahead and clip these into place right now. Bam, just like that. And now let's go ahead and put in that 16 millimeter bolt. And of course you always wanna hand thread first. Now it's fully hand threaded in. And again, what I said, use your knees, kind of secure it into place. And now we're gonna grab the top. I'm gonna put the camera down, grab the top and torque this thing on extremely tight. So now that we torqued our bolts on, we're gonna go and get an airbag and install this. We're gonna have our green and our black tabs here. Just make sure that on the connector, 
the little locking tab is still pulled up, not pushed down. So it's gonna install upwards like that. And now we lock down the locking tab. Do the same thing for the black. Make sure that the tab is pushed up or pulled up, I should say. Clip it into place and now lock it just like that. What we're gonna go ahead and do before I lock the airbag in is we're gonna put power to the vehicle. Make sure that I don't have any airbag faults. And then from there, I'll just push it into place. Cool, and just to avoid dying, I'm on the passenger side. And that's for obvious reasons. I'm not gonna be in the driver's seat when I'm testing that the airbag, you know, isn't gonna malfunction. So I'm in the passenger seat. So let's go ahead and make sure everything's good on the dash. Yeah, we powered everything on. There's no issues on the dash. And these all make sense. Right now the door's open, my parking brake is up and my tire is low or my sensor's out. Uh, but yeah, besides that, I don't have any SRS like the restraint system airs, so that's good. So yeah, no air, so now I feel safe to pop that thing into place. So just push it down just like that. You don't have to honk the horn. And yeah, guys, our new carbon fiber wheels fully installed, but I feel like I have to show you guys, I have to take this thing out on the road and show you guys just how nice it is. I freaking love how this looks. The carbon fiber here looks absolutely amazing. The little touches of red and the carbon just complement the whole interior and especially the nice little accent of red here and here and the stitching looks absolutely great in hand it feels wicked i've washed my hands about five times now because i don't want to get anything on this wheel but besides the point it feels great these grooves here are crazy thick they feel wicked the carbon feels great i love being able to touch all of this without worrying about stitching or dirtying up alec and Tara. this is basically foolproof future proof besides you know if you have rings on or watches you want to be careful not to scratch it the carbon trim here looks absolutely great the flat bottom is a lot more flat than my other wheel which may sound weird, but the other one kind of rounded out more. And look at that side profile here if you're in the passenger seat. So if you're a passenger in the car, right, and you're sitting here and you look over, I mean, that looks wicked, guys. Looks absolutely great. Shout out to BMW Mods, guys. This thing was $549, $599. Came with the center trim. A carbon center trim on its own is about 100 bucks. So that was a steal of a price, honestly. Flat bottoms and as wicked of a grooves as this thing has. But I definitely want to show you guys how it looks out on the road driving. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go on a drive. And I will say right off the bat, this thing feels freaking amazing. And your hand just really naturally fits inside this groove. Almost like can't wrap your whole hand around if you're not including your thumb, but in like a good way. It feels grippy and meaty. The carbon feels great. It's not as slippery as I thought it would be. I love that the red directional strip is ingrained inside the carbon. That way it can never wear out. As you guys can see, this red strip did start to wear out on me. The stitching pattern looks really good. Very consistent the whole way across. I don't really see any faults. All the buttons worked now that it's installed on the car. I tested all the volume buttons, so these are all good. Feels just as good as it looks. Your hand really nestles deep inside the grooves. 10 out of 10, you can really grip this thing, like wrap your hand around, it's very meaty. And yeah, feels crazy sport oriented. I highly recommend it. Two thumbs up from me.